Salutations Spartans, my name is Petatronic and welcome to another indie horror game called Midnight Maidenight. This game is developed by Zed Technician, the same developer that has created the man in, from the window, uh, the bit no zero, the Vermander curse, and all that. The, I have a whole bunch of his uh, games already on my channel here, but there'll be a link in the description to where you can play this one for yourself. So, with all that being said, we're going to see the controls. All right, we can run, crouch, interact, advanced dialogue. All right, we're just going to hop right into a new game. Yes, here we go. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay, but really, it makes sense. First, you replace a single plank on the ship, then another. And you keep going until everything has been replaced, and nothing from the original ship is left. Then you ask, is it still the same ship? And if not, when did it stop being the ship of Theseus? What the? Wouldn't it be easier just to build a new ship instead of going through all that? Ruth, that's not the point. It's a thought experiment. Well, if you ask me, Theseus needs to quit thinking so much and go stop his ship from being dismantled. Maybe that's the point of all this. Don't get distracted by silly little details when someone's up to get you. I don't... I think we're off track. I think we're getting off track here. Oh. Hold on, my phone's going off. Shoot. What's wrong? Our two o'clock just canceled on us. Uh-oh. Why is that? I'll read her message for you. Okay, so. Gotta cancel the appointment. Owner found out and isn't happy. Says she'd rather clean the place herself. And that was our last appointment for the month, too. There's one more we could do. No, we're not doing that one. Well, we have to do something here. If I miss one more payment, they're going to take the van. And that's the end of the Midnight Maids. And I don't think either of us wants to start looking for a new career at this point. Ruth, you're killing me. I swear. Oh, come on now. We don't even have to clean the place. Just move a few boxes and drop them off afterwards. We'll be in and out before you know it. Let's go. That's the Naomi I know. We'll be there in no time. I think there is meant to be multiple ending endings in this game, so I'm going to try my best to get them. There's probably three of them. I'm already getting bad vibes from this place, man. I'm not too thrilled about it either. But the sooner we get started, the sooner we can get out of here. I know, I know, it's just... Alright, what's first on the agenda? I'll check. The state has been sold, and the previous owner's possessions are being auctioned off tomorrow. We hired some movers, but they're unexpectedly left a few hours into the work and haven't replied back yet. The previous owner is currently unavailable, so I need you to finish up the job. All you need to do is pack up whatever items are still left and drop them and drop it all off at my place. You have more empty boxes than you'll need to use. You may put any unneeded ones back on the bench. Sounds easy enough. You send them a message and let them know we're here. I'll start packing up in f up in here first. By the way, they sent some instructions for this room. Pack up the books. Pack up the old letters. Pack up the, all the papers. There are more instructions for the other rooms here. Just talk to me if you want to hear them, okay? So books, letters, and papers? So I'm picking... Can they all just go in the same box? So we got a map of the place, so I'm right here, right? Eh? All these rooms have to get cleaned or something? Hey, Naomi. Yeah? Why is there a pile of doors here? I think I read something about the new owner being allergic to prawns. Like, that's why they had all the doors taken off or something. A bronze allergy. How strange. Yeah, I agree to that one. <laughs> Alright. Well, we got all our letters, books. I think all the papers. And that was just for this room, eh? Right. 
By the way, they sent some instructions, books, old letters, all papers. There are more instructions for the other ones here. Just talk to me if you want to hear them. Am I missing something? Ah. There you go. There we go. That's this room's... That's this room taken care of now. I better go ahead and take this box on out to the van. Be right back. Sure thing. Okay. There you go. It was actually very nice out here. It's a nice evening to probably get murdered. Uh, excuse me? Oh, hey, Ruth. You didn't tell me that the old homeowner would be here. It scared me almost half to death when he showed up. Terribly sorry about the fright, madam. Though I do have a question I feel I must ask. Your attire suggests you're here for work. Please tell me, has something happened? My friend and I were contracted to move things up before the new owner shows up. New owner? So we finally lost the estate then. I should have known. But never mind that. I must suggest you two return in the morning. Things tend to get very, very strange in this house at this late hour. Tomorrow, I can't do daylight. And I'm nocturnal. So we only work at night. Besides, if we don't finish this job tonight, we don't get paid. I see. I see. Well, we can't have that. In that case, you'll need to keep a close eye out for my father during your work. The man had his fair share of demons in life, and in his current state, he's only gone worse. But don't worry. The lights in the mansion tend to react to the energy he gives off. Should they begin to glow blue, then you know that he's on his way. I'm sure you'd like to know what you should do at that point, right? Well, a family such as ours has had his share of enemies. And because of this, every room in this mansion has a secret alcove that can be used to hide inside. My father has long since lost the presence of mind to check these hiding spots, so you should be safe therein. I wish I could tell you that he's not as bad as he seems, but he is. So it's best that you just avoid him outright. I'll leave you both to get back to your work, just pretend I'm not even here. I'd like for the record to show that I'm not okay with any of this. Naomi, hush, we'll be fine. Thank you for your help, sir, we appreciate it. He's left already. He sure is a strange one. And the understatement of the year award goes to... Uh, oh, you're going to follow me? So I just walk up to the door? I press it, I see. Okay. Alright, well, does it like cross off the... Oh yeah, it does. Gets rid of the circle. Um, well, I guess I need another box, don't I? Alright, so I got to look for blue candles. Is it going to only be in... One room, or... What happens? Oh, hello again. One would not be able to tell it now, but our dining room used to be quite the grandiose sight. All manner of patricians have graced this room. Uh, though I sometimes wonder if they still would have visited had they known what truly went on here. So... Do I have to check every room? Yeah. Check time. It's 2.05 a.m. The new homeowner is supposed to get here at 6. So we need to finish up before then. If we still want to get paid, that is. Okay. Yeah. Room status. The message says, pick up the table placements, pack up the gold trays. Are you kidding me? I have to pick up all of this? Whoa. Where does it save? So... When the lights, when the candles go blue, is it only in the room that I'm in? Oh dear, I don't think I can carry any more. I should take this box to the van. Alright. I suppose we could do that. I really hope I don't have to check every room for a blue light. That's blue. Okay, they all turn blue. Alright. Well, as long as they all turn blue, then this shouldn't be bad. 
There you go. You both seem to be quite adept at, at this. That other group of movers had already turned tail and ran by now. Cleaning houses is usually our specialty, but sometimes we have to take other jobs as well. And then I get dragged into some saint insane situation just because we need the money. Like last month, we almost got buried alive in the church's basement. Ooh. <clears throat> I'd like to play that game. How does one end up in a predicament like that? Good question. Maybe it's because someone accepted without reading the entire job description. It said groundbreaking work, didn't it? How was I supposed to know? Do you see what I have to go through? My, my. You two are sure are something else. I wish I had more help like you during my time. And where are my manners? I never introduced myself. No, I was about to ask what your name is. My name is Joseph. Joseph Vermander. Oh. Is your father JP? I'm Naomi. She's Ruth. It's an honor to meet you both. I don't mean to delay you, really. It's just nice to finally have someone to talk to after all this time. I'll let you return to your work. Joseph. I wonder if JP's his father. Ooh. Okay. The plot thickens. Well, keep my eye out on the candles, I guess. So where can I hide in this room? I guess right in there, right? Oh, oh dear, I don't think I... Okay. Back to the van we go. There you go. Pick up another box. Wish I could run a tad bit faster. Excuse me, move please. Alright, so we should be done in here, eh? That's it for this room, we got everything. Nice. Alright. I guess the next room over here. I would like to know where I can hide though. Alright, I can hide there. Hello again. Many a thankless meal has been prepared in this room. While I, of course, did my best to respect the help, Father wasn't always as accommodating. God forbid you incorrectly cooked a meal on one of his bad days. The ashes contained in that oven aren't just from the wood, you know. Um. Okay, thanks. Alright, what's up? Message says, take all the boxes out. There's still more stuff to grab in here, Ruth. Am I putting boxes within boxes? I saw it blue at the last second there. I really hope I don't have to restart the entire night if I die. That would just be painful. Okay, got everything for this room. Alright, let's go down here. I wish I had a map on me. But the only map is in that main lobby. Um, do I even want to ask? That's strange. There's nothing in the message written about this room. We still better grab what we can just to be sure. Oh dear, I don't think I can carry any more. Take the box up to the van. Okay, well. If I get trapped in this hall, that's gonna suck. Because it doesn't seem like there's anything. Maybe I'll save that room last. There you go. What time is it? Okay, still got plenty of time left. Alright, what other rooms do we have here? So that's the room I was just in. Let's go to the right. There's a lot of rooms, wow. 
I really have no idea how forgiving this is. Oh, hold on. Alright. Terribly sorry about that. I was getting a phone call. Uh, so... What are we doing in this room? Message says, pack up the decorative plates, pack up the vase, pack up paintings. Okay. Where can I hide? That's where I want to... Alright, in that corner. That's everything, eh? That's it for this room. Got everything. Alright. I really do not like running in the hall here. Only because if those lights turn blue, and I'm in that hall, and I'm nowhere near a wall to hide in, I'm practically screwed. Wow, this is massive. Alright, let's go back to that seance room, I guess. Oh. This is getting rather late, which means I should probably tell you about Cornelius? Who? A long time ago, he used to be one of my father's servants. A true paragon of a butler. I have a one bad word to say of the man. But one cold January morning, a terrible blizzard arrived. And you and I both know how rare snow is here. The entire town was shut down. Our family had absolutely everything one might need in an emergency. Food, water, and enough firewood to last for days. Mm. Oh, sorry. However, father wasn't happy. For the man was accustomed to reading his newspaper every morning. Given the conditions outside, the paper obviously could not be delivered that day. But instead of occupying his time doing something else, as the same person would, he sent poor Cornelius out to retrieve the morning paper from town. Father didn't even have the decency to give the man a winter coat to use. He just sent him out wholly unprepared. Suffice to say, Cornelius didn't return. The man met his ultimate untimely demise out there in the ice and snow. And now something appears outside every night just past the gate. Something that used to be Cornelius. I do not know what happened to him out there in the blizzard, nor do I know what he wants. But when you venture outside, be sure not to stay out there for too long. Otherwise, you may very well end up face to face with him. Okay. <clears throat> that shouldn't be a problem. That's a problem. Alright, quickly hide in there. All right, we're good to go. Luckily, that room was right there. All right, so let's try the seance room and work our way around. It's a pretty big place. Can I pick up the... I can. Okay. Oh dear. Oh, come on. This is a pain right there. Not being able to carry a lot. Okay, let's see if I come face to face with uh, Cornelius here. I can't crouch for some reason. I don't know why. That's like... The fastest you could possibly go for that. I don't know if I should go back to the seance room or if I should just hang around here for a second. But it seems like I'm already committed. So. Candles are still orange. That's good. Is that everything in here? Well, that's everything I could get. Okay, hold up. That's a pretty long haul. I don't know how well I trust that. All 
That was weird. I could have sworn I just heard something there. Alright, what's in this room? Message says, take all the boxes out. We haven't picked up everything. Oh, that's it? There's the boxes? Oh, come on, really? You're gonna make me come back in here just for one box? I'm not chancing it to go outside, so we're doing this. This is actually a pretty, uh, pretty good game so far. Z Technician, this developer is making very awesome games. I must give them props. Whew. I don't think I could go any faster than that. It's immediately right to the truck and then right back in. I think I should have this on the first go, I hope. Famous last words, though. Alright, so this should be the last box, eh? There you go. What time is it? 3.09. Plenty of time left. We got three hours left. I don't know what that is for in-game, but... Is it just that one box? Okay. Just that one box. Anything over here? Is it downstairs? Can I go down here? Okay, I can hide in there. Take all boxes out. Okay. Hey, get, get, nothing. Get out of my face. Okay, I can't carry anymore anyways. I'd rather take paths that I already know where to go. Move. I'm still carrying around one box. Okay, let's go in this direction. I probably should go room by room instead of just going willy-nilly all over the place, but... Message says, pack up all towels, all boxes. Okay. Can't look in there. I guess that's all I could carry for now, eh? Oh, wow. Got a look at him right there. Oh, I can't take that path. As far as I know, there's no way to leave from there. Boxes aren't full. Okay. <clears throat> oh, what now? I have one final thing to tell you both. I'd rather keep this particular story to myself, but for your own safety, I must tell you of Agatha. Agatha used to be part of the help like Cornelia. She too was an exemplary servant. Throughout her time here, both she and I grew close, very close. And despite knowing full well the impact it would have on my family's social status, I asked her to marry me. She and I then planned to elope and run away together. I didn't care that I was giving up my inheritance by doing so. I only wanted us to be together. Aww. But the night before we were to make our escape from this awful place, Father found out. Again and again I asked him, where is she and what have you done? He eventually answered me, though sometimes I wish that he didn't. He told me that she was under the floorboards where she belonged. 
Then he went on about his day reading his newspaper and having his breakfast like nothing happened. Agatha didn't deserve to end up like this. She'll probably wake up soon. Should you see the candle suddenly go out, you'll know she's in the same room as you. You know I still try to talk to her, but she never responds. I don't think she recognizes me anymore. She just runs away if I ever look at her. Is that what I have to do? Look at her? So if the lights go out, that's a problem. That's a big problem. Alright. Well, let's go to the basement. Okay, what the heck? What is the point? Why can't I, like, pick those up half the time? So, do I have to look at her? If that happens? I'm, like, getting all disoriented here. I didn't mean to come down this hall. Okay. See, why am I still holding... Can I take this? I can. Why am I holding so many boxes? Uh oh. No! Oh. That was close. Can I grab these last two, please? I'm carrying like four boxes here. What the heck? Can I place these boxes back down? I don't think I'm supposed to have this many boxes. This mansion has been in our family for generations, you know. After my father finally met his end, everything went to me. During my time, I tried my best to correct the past sins of my family. The hell were treated fairly for once. I lowered the prices of all our properties. I even tried returning all those liberated artifacts we used to keep down in the basement. I was well on my way to pulling our family name out of the mud, you know? But then somehow, Father became so enraged by my actions that he brought himself back from the dead to stop me. To be honest with you, I wasn't even that surprised. He broke just about every law he could while still alive. Breaking universal laws was the next logical step. Alright. Well, your father seems to be a prick. Is it just all boxes now that I have to pick up? That's what it's sure seeming to be. So, you know what? I need to see if I can place these boxes down that I have. Because I have quite a bit on me. Okay. I can. Alright. That's good to know. Let's try going around again. So, is that Agatha? That wolf I'm seeing there? Fox or whatever? So, that's everything finally in this room, eh? Good. Alright, no longer have to come in here. Alright, can I grab these boxes that are in here now? 
I can, but I don't have any more hands now. Move, please. Jeez, Ruth. Or Naomi. So I guess I'm dropping these off at the truck. Box isn't full. Wait. Excuse me? What was that? So I'm just carrying around one box at this moment. <clears throat> so that's the box I need to put stuff in, eh? It's everything in this room. Just the one box. Man, that really sucks. I can't carry a vast majority more of those. Vast majority more of those? What? I think they're just all boxes now that I have to grab. But I have this one that has items inside it, but I'm not seeing any more items anywhere. Um... That's not going to penalize me, is it? I really hope not. <laughs> I would like to get rid of this one box that's in my hand. I haven't checked over here yet. A big room. A vast selection of tomes and books used to be housed in this room. We collected it all over generations. So much knowledge. Yet somehow, despite it all, we still weren't clever enough to save ourselves. Alrighty. Where can I hide in here? Alright. Alright. Pack up all the books. Pack up the candle. We have a okay. How many books can I uh, hold in this box? Can I actually... wonder what happens if I grab... Well, I don't know if that'll work. I'm thinking of grabbing two boxes to see if I could carry double of everything, but I don't know exactly how well that would work. So maybe I should just try them one at a time. All right. Oh, I need a box. Yeah, I don't want to grab... See, I don't know. That's the thing. If I grab two, can I carry double the amount? Well, anyways, let's go back into the little library here. Luckily, I don't have to, like, put only certain things inside. Uh. <laughs> Well, if you guys are enjoying this uh, video, why not uh, put a box emoji in the comments below? That candle, I take it? I might have to do one or two more trips now. I would assume that there's enough items 
So it doesn't happen where you have only a couple of books inside a box? What time is it? Of course, we better pick up the pace. Of course it's 4.30. Get out of here. Still got quite a bit of rooms. Yeah, I hear him like knocking. I might have to try this again. This might take me another attempt. But now that I know exactly what to do and um, what to hold, it shouldn't be too bad now. I could go from one room and work my way, essentially. Where are you? I- No! I see you! Oh. That everything? Good. So now I don't have to come all the way back over here now. There were some boxes I could grab it over here still, right? That should be it for this room, eh? Okay, how about move? Oh man, she's in the way. That's everything in this room too, eh? Luckily, I looked at that candle. I was about to start running out. Alright, so we just cleared out, like, three or four rooms right there, so... And we have an hour and a half... Well, probably an hour and 15 minutes now to finish off everything, so... Nothing in there for me to grab. Oh my god, she's in the way constantly. I still have to go down in the basement. Okay, right. I want to see what I have left here. My bad. <laughs> right in front of me? There's only three rooms left. There's one of the farther. Well, let me go to the basement since there's only a couple boxes down there. But why am I holding that there? Is that the one to put items in? It's got to be close to five now. This is not... Move. <laughs> this is not going good. Why do I feel like I'm going to have one room left before I fail? Is that everything here? That everything? Beautiful. Let me get out of here. Ah! <laughs> it's gotta be five o'clock now. Ooh, baby. Time. Yeah, that's definitely not good. And we have two rooms left. Wait, there's still something in the seance room? Because that's what that one room is. What the heck's in there? I only have two rooms left to get, man. Come on. I thought I got everything in the seance room. I hope that's not going to cost me. Because now I only have one room that I haven't checked out yet. Are you kidding me? Did I not ask her if there was everything in here? 
Okay. Oh, man. So now there's only one more room left. And that's in the far top right, eh? Luckily, there's rooms galore down this hallway. So I can duck in if I have to. Alright, up here, eh? <gasps> That's everything! Yes! Leaving already? Yep, we're all done here, thankfully. No offense, my guy, but your house creeps me out. Haha, <laughs> I suppose you're right about that. This place does give off quite the oppressive atmosphere. Still, I'm gonna miss it. This is the only home I've ever known, you know? But it's high time for me to move on. No point in haunting this place. A moment longer for our time here is over. I have to thank you both for helping me realize that. Without you here, I suppose I never would have talked myself through my own issues. You're very welcome, dear. What is that? Honestly, this is nothing new for us. I thought my thing was still paused. That freaked me out. We usually just tack on another 50 bucks on the bill when we help someone's spirit move on. I expect nothing else from the Midnight Maids, I suppose. It's been fun. Goodbye, my friends. Where do you think you're going? Uh oh. I like how the candles are blue. <clears throat> you're not going anywhere, boy. You know what, father? No. I'm done with you. My whole life has revolved around you. I spent the eternity of my youth trying to m my best to please you, yet you only thought of yourself. And I spent the rest of my short time here trying to in vain to atone for your evil deeds. I refuse to let you ruin my afterlife as well. That's it. Oh, God. So that is Agatha. It sure took you long enough to come around, Joey. Agatha? You... You still remember me. Why haven't you said anything until now? I was waiting for you to finally stand up to the big oaf. I thought giving you the silent treatment for a while might help you figure it out, but no. Well, better late than never, I suppose. Exactly. Now come on, let's finally leave this place behind. Yes, we must depart at once. You wouldn't dare. Want to bet, old man? Oh, and away they go, off to be together. This is your fault. If you don't listen to him ramble, if you didn't listen to him ramble on, he'd still be here with me. You're going to pay for that. Why, what are you going to do? <gasps> Cornelius. Yeah, he went outside. Ah, there you are, sir. Here's the newspaper you wanted. I asked for this paper years ago, you useless idiot. Not even a thank you, huh? Well, it's quite all right, sir. I brought you something else as well. Would you like to know the weather forecast? What? The weather forecast, sir. There's a heat wave coming. I thought you should know. Ah, uh, what is this? No, I will not go yet. My legacy, I must preserve it. Ah! Cool. Righto. Now that's finally sorted. I better take my leave as well. Stay safe out there. Alrighty. Never a dull moment, huh? Not by a long shot, my dear. Not by a long shot. Well, there you go. I won. First attempt. Nice. So, is there other endings to this? I could have sworn there was like three endings to this game. Maybe I gotta get caught by Agatha and, uh... Would not... Okay. Hold on a second. I'm going to see if there is uh, other endings. Hold on. All right. So there are two more endings and I'm going to get them, I guess. One is getting caught and the other one is waiting till six. So yeah, I'm just going to play the game as normally, uh, normally. And I will be back when I get uh, one of the endings. All right, so it seems like the answer is yes. That you can carry multiple boxes and put um, more, carry more stuff. Because I just took two boxes and I was able to finish off the kitchen. So there's a nice little pro strat right there. I took four boxes now. I'm going to see... If this will work. 
uh, for every room here. If that's the case, then... Yeah, you could just grab four boxes and you could just hit every room they need to pick up everything. Speedrunning tactics right there, ladies and gentlemen. wonder, can you carry, um... Regular boxes here? No, you can't. Like, look at her go. Look at her go. All right, let's. I'll be right back. Oh, there you go. I just came across this text right here. So when you pick up everything that you need to pick up with the boxes here, this comes up. We already packed up everything that we needed to. We don't need these empty boxes anymore. But there are still other boxes in here that we need to take out. All right, so that's kind of awesome. All right, I'll be back. All right, so I have returned. Agatha, get out of here. So it is 5.47 right now. We're in the home stretch here until 6 o'clock. Um, I have actually really enjoyed this game, but one thing I would like to say is it'd be nice if there was a way to speed up time like you were able to in the Vermander case with the clock on the wall. I could have sworn I saw a clock somewhere in here, but... Maybe I'm having a fever dream of a different game right now, but it would have been nice to speed it up so you can get the other endings because I've had to sit here for like the past, I don't know, 30 minutes again uh, trying to get everything. There's only one box that I left, by the way. That's all that I um, left. It's down in the basement right now. So luckily the other one is just to get caught by... His father. So that won't be hard to do. But we got like five minutes here. But other than that, I've really enjoyed this game. I only got like three more games left to play as well for a Z Technician. And then I'm completely caught up on all of them. And I'll keep an eye out for every new one that he releases. Because his games are really fun. They're not too, too scary. I mean, yes, you have, like, Agatha and this one popping up in random corners and whatnot. And you have the suspense of trying to hide from all these enemies in a certain time frame. Otherwise, they're going to get you. And I really like the concept of all these games that Zed Technician has been doing. And it seems like all these may be made by one developer, possibly. So that's even more awesome. Yeah, that's definitely not good. We have one minute. All right, let's go to the front that way. Oh, never mind. They won't have to look hard for us now. All right, what's this ending? I also want to see what happens if Cornelius gets us. The duo had worked throughout the night right up until the last moment. However, they were unable to meet their agreed-upon deadline. They were missing one box. As the clock struck six, the new homeowner arrived, angry at the mansion wasn't in the previous... Angry that the mansion wasn't in the previous promised condition. Just move the one box. The pair promptly left, leaving the disgruntled homeowner behind to deal with an untidy home and four restless guests. They were not paid for their efforts. Though they left the mansion unscathed, they were unable to find more work before the month's end. And the Midnight Maze van was repossessed soon after. Having no way to continue their work, the two parted ways. They both eventually landed new dead-end jobs to make ends meet. Despite the inherent danger of being the Midnight Maids, they both truly missed their time working together. Aww. That's sad. Still just one star, right? Eh? Oh, there's one more. To get and that is being caught by the father so I'm gonna do that but I also want to see what happens if Cornelius gets you so whichever one I get first I will showcase that oh I gotta get all these guys again so I shall return the joys of editing you all don't have to sit through this all right I'll be back all right the lights have turned blue so let's see what happens when he uh approaches us here just gonna continue to pick up uh, all these placements ah almost got the last one all right what happens hello
Faced with no other acceptable alternatives, the Midnight Maze ventured into a place brimming with bad omens. And though this was nothing new for the duo, one's luck can only be tested so many times before the worst eventually happens. The state and its dark, unresolved secrets proved to finally be too much. A mansion with a closet already full of skeletons now added two more into its grim history. Six restless spirits now reside therein. Aww. Alright, there's one more ending, or one more thing that I wish to see. And that is, uh, Cornelius. Oh, I can continue. Where does, where does it continue, continue me off of? At. at, at, at. Is it, uh, just the... Yeah, I just have to redo in here, eh? Alright, well, I will return when, uh, Cornelius is gonna be a threat. And hopefully that won't take long. I think he shows up at, like, three or something like that. But, I'll be back. Alright, so, we were just told Cornelius should be on his way, so let's see where he is. Oh yeah, there he is walking. Hey, Cornelius. So how... Oh. Cornelius had patiently waited many years for his revenge. In his current state, his vision was extremely limited. And upon seeing two figures outside the manor, he reasoned one of them must be the one he was searched for. So he lunged. Oh, one for Naomi. However, neither figure turned out to be the one he searched for. So he offered up an apologetic gesture, then promptly slinked off back into the night. Both Naomi and Ruth were unharmed, although a fair amount of time had been wasted in the incident. Oh, so what time is it now? Three, eh? So it seems like the punishment for that one is losing time. Well, all right, everyone. That would it be... Midnight made night, right? What's that called? What's, what's this, what did I just play? Midnight made night. Yeah, I was right. So thank you everyone so much for watching. Hopefully I got everything that you can in this game. And uh, we got three more Z Technician games left to play. And uh, yeah, it's going to be lots of fun. So if you enjoyed this, please make sure to hit that like button. As this took me like an hour and 35 minutes. And uh, subscribe if you're new, if you made it this far, and if you didn't make it this far, why not put a candle in the comments below? I asked for a box before, now how about a candle? So, that's it for me, thanks for watching, take care, bye bye everyone.